Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to show you guys how to use switch statements in C Sharp. Now, a switch statement is basically just a special type of if statement where we can check a bunch of different conditions really easily. And this will all be really clear in the example that I show you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, down here in my program, I just have a, a very simple program set up. And in this tutorial, I want to create a method. So we're actually going to create a method which is going to convert numbers into days of the week. So if I pass this method as zero, it would give me back Sunday because Sunday is the first day of the week. If I pass this a one, it would give me back a Monday, right? If I pass this a two, it would give me back Tuesday, et cetera, right? So if I, you know, it's basically gonna map numbers to the specific day of the week that we're gonna give it. And this is gonna be a pretty cool uh, method. So I'm gonna come down here and we're gonna go ahead and write the method. I'm just gonna say static, and this is gonna return a string. So it's gonna return the name of the day of the week. And I'm just gonna call this get day. And this method is gonna take one parameter and it's gonna be the day num. So I'm just gonna call this day num. So day num is gonna be like zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, et cetera, right? It's gonna be a number and we're gonna take that number and we're going to convert it into a day of the week, right? We're gonna convert it into a string, which would be the day of the week. So I'm gonna create a variable over here. It's gonna be a string variable and I'm just gonna call it day name and I'm not gonna give it a value. And then down here, eventually, our goal is gonna be able, gonna be to return day name. So inside of our little method over here, inside of our um, method block, our goal is to populate this day name variable with the value, right? With the correct value that's gonna to correspond to the day num that gets passed in. Cool. So I'm gonna show you guys how we can use a special structure in C Sharp to do this and it's called a switch statement. So I'm gonna set up my switch statement. I'm just gonna say switch. I'm gonna make an open and close parentheses and an open and close curly bracket. And down here, we're gonna be able to start writing our switch statement. Now, the switch statement needs one piece of information inside of this parentheses and it basically needs a value. So the whole point of the switch statement is we're gonna pass it a value and then we're gonna to check to see if that value is equal to a bunch of different stuff. And depending on what it's equal to, we're gonna do different things. So this will be clear in a second. In here, I'm gonna pass in day num because if day num is zero, I wanna do something. If day num is one, I wanna do something else. If day num is two, I wanna do something else. In other words, my goal is to figure out what the day num is and depending on what it is, I'm gonna do something. In other words, I'm gonna give this day name variable a different value. Now down here in the switch statement, we can make what are called cases. So I can come down here and I can just type out case and over here, I can just type in a value. So I can say zero here, and I'm gonna make a colon. And down here, I'm basically just gonna say day name is equal to Sunday. And I'm also gonna say break down here. So let's talk about what this is saying. Essentially, this line, this little block of code is saying that in the case that day num is equal to zero, I wanna do this. So in the case that day num has the value of zero, we're gonna do whatever I specify down here. Essentially what I'm doing is I'm saying day name is gonna be equal to Sunday. And I'm also saying break, and we're gonna talk about break in one second. So now what I can do is I can create one of these cases for each of the possible numbers, right? So now instead of just making one for zero, I'll make one for one. In the case that day num is one, I'm gonna say day name is gonna be equal to Monday, right? And then again, I'm gonna say break. And we'll do this one more time. Um, I'm gonna do it for two. So in the case that day num is equal to two, now I'm gonna say day name is equal to Tuesday. And you'll notice here I'm using this break statement. And this is a special reserved word in C Sharp which basically says that we wanna break out of the structure that we're currently in. So we're inside of this switch statement and essentially what happens is with this switch statement, it's gonna look through all of these different cases. So it's gonna say, okay, is it zero, is it one, is it two? But let's say that day num is zero, right? So it says, is case zero? Yes, we're gonna execute this. So we're gonna assign a value of Sunday to day num. If I don't put this break statement in here, 
then C sharp is going to keep checking all of these cases after that. So it's not going to stop. It's going to keep checking. So if you have a scenario where you want to be able to keep checking the other cases, even after one of them was true, then you can get rid of the break statement. But I think in most cases, you'll probably just want this break statement in there. All right, so I've made one of these for Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. I'm gonna go off and make some for the rest of the days of the week, and then we'll come back and check it out. All right, so I went ahead and made one of these for every day of the week. You can see we have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And this is a really easy way to check all these different cases, right? I can just say case six, day name, Saturday, etc. So we basically have our case statement set up. We have our switch statement set up. But here's the problem. Let's say that the user passes a value into this method that's not zero through six, right? So this case, this switch statement can only handle values zero through six. But what happens if someone passed like a 100 into there? Well, I can actually account for that. So down here, I can create something called a default. I can basically just type out default. I can type a colon. And now down here, I can specify what I wanna do if none of these cases are true. So I could come down here and I could basically just say day name and we'll just set this equal to invalid number. Or why don't we say invalid day number. And this will basically act as like a error message. And then down here, we're also gonna to need to say break. So this is essentially how we can account for any values that aren't included up here as cases. So. Our function or our method seems to be done at this point. So let's go ahead and try it out. So remember, get day is going to take one value, which is going to be a num. And let's go up here to our main method and we'll try this out. So I'm actually just going to print out whatever we get. So I'm going to say console dot right line and I'm going to go ahead and print out get day and let's pass this a zero. So I'm going to go ahead and say get day zero. So hopefully we should get Sunday back because Sunday is mapped to zero. And you'll see over here that we get Sunday back. So let's try another one. Why don't we try four? And I think four is gonna be Thursday. Yeah, so Thursday. And let's try one more. So I'm gonna try an invalid number. So let's put 80 in here. So if I say get day 80, now we should get that error message which tells us that it's an invalid day number. Yeah, so over here we're getting that invalid day number. So that's basically what we can do with switch statements. Now, let me just point this out. Everything that you can do with switch statements, you could actually do with if statements. The reason that we have switch statements though is because they make it a lot easier to do essentially what we're doing over here. You could do it with if statements, but it would be a lot messier than this and it would be a lot harder to manage. With switch statements, it's very clear, right? It's very clear what's going on and what values are getting mapped to what code. So switch statements are extremely useful and you should definitely consider using them in your C Sharp programs. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.